The jewel of Southern California? Well, many people consider Yucaipa, California to be just that. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the pros and the cons of living in Yucaipa, California. I'm gonna share the good, the bad, and of course the ugly. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Yucaipa, California, then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Yucaipa, California. Or is it Yucaipa, right? Now, the team and I, we get calls, emails, texts, every single day from people just like you looking to make their move and we absolutely love it so whether you're deciding to move in nine days or 90 days you could always give us a call shoot us a text send us an email or schedule a zoom down below so we can help you make that smooth move to yukaipa california now let me just give you a little bit of insight right why is yukaipa called you know the jewel of the inland empire right because that's what most people consider it and most people don't even know about Yucaipa, California. It's not Yucaipa, it is Yucaipa, California. So a lot of people just don't understand, you know, where it's at or what's going on, or even that the city really exists, right? So it is a smaller town population, a little bit closer to that five, uh, 55,000 uh, range. So a little, you know, population 55,000. So it's not a big city whatsoever, but it's not a little small town either, right? So. Just a little fun fact for you to know. Now, where is it located? So it is kind of located more in the, definitely in the Inland Empire, kind of the northeast region of the Inland Empire, um, tucked up against the San Bernardino Mountains. Really sweet little area next to it. You've got Cali Mesa close to it. You also have Beaumont as well, Banning and other little similar cities of its size. Now, Yucaipa is a really unique little town, right? The jewel of the Inland Empire, the jewel. Well, why do they call it the jewel? Well, it's just because it's such a unique little town, so much rich history, and the quality of life is really great within Yucaipa, California. So that, you know, is a really big plus of Yucaipa. It's just a quality of life. People really enjoy it. I actually do have family that lives in Yucaipa and they do absolutely love it. And I love visiting them in Yucaipa because it's a great little town. So let me just give you a little bit more insight of, you know, some of the things to do before I give you your veggies and your desserts before we get into those pros and cons. So. Just little things for you to do. You can explore the outdoors. So that's, a, you know, one of the big things is Mother Nature is very much alive in Yucaipa, California. It has several parks and recreational areas. Yes, you can go to the Yucaipa um, Regional Park where you can go hiking, you can go biking, picnicking, right? There's a bunch of amenities within this Yucaipa area, or you can go to the San Bernardino National Forest, which offers more or less the same things where you can go hike, bike, camping, picnicking, and enjoy some scenic views. Big, big plus to me. I love a view, I love the sceneries. So if you're anything like I am and you just love beauty and nature, that's a big plus for you, is that you will get that if you're living in the Yucaipa area and right surrounding areas as well. Well, there's not just that. You can also visit the historic sites within Yucaipa. So if you want to know about the rich history of Yucaipa, what's you know Yucaipa about, you know, and what the past is, right? Like, you know, checking out the Yucaipa Valley Museum, where you can go and learn about the city of Yucaipa and past uh, Indian tribes that settled there, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's another neat feature is that you can learn about, you know, the historic features of Yucaipa and also not to mention attend community events. So you can enjoy the Yucaipa Music and Arts Festival. And within the Arts Festival, yes, it includes live music, 
arts and crafts, vendors, and so much more. So you're gonna get the food trucks and all the amazing amenities that comes with it, right? It's tasting all the good, amazing, uh, what is it, the vendor food? So like the taco trucks and the slushies and, and hopefully they have a turkey leg. So that's a really cool thing about the community events is that it is very much alive within the city of Yukaipo. And also you can enjoy local uh, cuisine, right? So enjoy, you know, the heritage that they have there, whether it's Mexican food or just traditional American, right? I can go on and on regarding that. So that's just kind of a little bit to know about the Yukaipa little uh, area. Also, you can go shopping. So local shopping is, you know, it's starting to get a little bit more and more and more. Now, I'm not gonna say that Yukaipa is such a big town where they have their own mall, et cetera, et cetera, because they don't. But however, surrounding areas do. And that's one of the another big features about Yukaipa where it's geographically located. You can drive about 15 minutes uh, one way and you can be at those big stores that you really need to be at or those malls, right? So if you really wanna go shopping big, you just know that it's not a big or not a very far distance away where you're gonna have to drive that 45 minutes or an hour. Like when I lived in the East Coast, I used to drive an hour just to go to the nearest mall. That was not fun. It was not fun at all. So that is one of the great things about Yukaipa. Well, South, Southern California region in general is that we are very close to other uh, amenities if we don't host it within our city. Now what we're gonna do, right, is we really wanna jump into the pro and cons for you so that way you can kind of gauge and understand whether or not Yukaipa is the place for you. So without further ado, I'm gonna start off with pro number one, numero uno, and let's jump into it. Pro number one of living in Yukaipa, California, numero uno, that is going to be the access to nature. So if you are an outdoor enthusiast, like I am, right? I enjoy my outdoors, I do, I love my son, is you got it made if you're looking to move to Yukaipa or relocate to Yukaipa because it's the ideal location for you. It is surrounded by beautiful mountains, parks, hiking trails, biking trails, Again, it's ideal location. If you're a nature lover, this area is gonna be for you. You're gonna absolutely love it. Now, I'm not just saying that to say that. You gotta go check it out for yourself or just go on the Google Maps, right? Because you know what I'm talking about, especially for those that have been to Yukaipa, California. You know, you know exactly, right? It, it is a beautiful location with some beautiful scenery. So that is what pro number one of living in Yukaipa, California is that it is beautiful and has access to nature. So that is going to be pro number one. Let's move on to pro number two, numero dos. Pro number two, again, here we are, numero dos of living in Yucaipa, California. And that is going to be that it has good public schools or good schools in general. Now, Yucaipa has a number of highly rated schools. So that is a big, big plus if you're looking to move to Yukaipa. It's making it a great place if you're looking to raise a family, just bottom line, right? Because you definitely want your kids or your friends or families or aunts, uncles, whatever the case may be, you want them to have a great education. Well, Yukaipa does have that. And so that's one big major plus. Now, when we grade the education in certain cities, right? We look at the overall aspect. We're not looking at just one metric. And so the overall metric, it does have highly rated schools. So that's what makes Yukaipa again, another, you know, just another great positive thing about Yukaipa is that it has great schools. So let's move on to pro number three. Pro number three, numero tres of living in Yukaipa, California. It is that it is a safe, community big big plus again this kind of caveats to those highly rated schools if you have children this is a perfect area to raise a family it's a very safe community so yukaipa has a relatively low crime rate compared to other cities similar of its size so that's a big plus to know right that you do have a safe community there is great schools you do have access to nature right this sounds like an ideal place right i'm I, I'm just telling myself and I'm repeating it to you because I know how great Yukaipa is. It is such a great city, but yes, it does. It is a safe community. So that's another big, big plus 
of living in the Ukaipa area is that, hey, you know without a doubt that you're gonna be you know, safe and secured and you probably won't be one of the statistics. So that right there is gonna be pro number three. Let's move on to our final pro. All right. Pro number four of living in Ukaipa, California. And this is one big major pro that I really, you know, I really wanna share. It's that it has a growing economy. Right, so the, the, the city has definitely experienced, right, some economic growth in recent years, right, due to relocation from the, in, um, from the bigger cities, right, which has led to the opening of new businesses, which is great, and increased job opportunities, which is another great reason to move to Ukaipa, is that it has those job opportunities and it has those new businesses. So that's another big major plus. And I think that's personally one of my favorite pros because of the simple reason is that you wanna to go to a city that does have a growing and thriving economy for the residents of that city. And Ukaipa is having that. So again, another big major plus. Now that right there is all the pros of living in Ukaipa, California and what it kind of has to offer, right? Now, you know, let's jump into your veggies, see whether or not if the, you know, cons really Really outweigh the pros or the pros outweigh the cons and vice versa so jumping in to con number one con number one of living in Ukaipa, California and that is going to be that it has a limited public transportation yes again it's not a developed big city so you kind of that's kind of an understanding of you know it doesn't have a big public transportation system now however in the near future will that change Possibly, right? As the city grows, as the economy thrives, they can definitely have the funds and, you know, definitely build up the city where they do have a more uh, friendly community public transportation. But currently, there is a limited public transportation for the residents of Ukaipa and the surrounding areas. So that's why we're naming that as con number one. Jumping into con number two. So con number two of living in Ukaipa, California, and that is going to be the traffic congestion, right? Well, that's kind of a given. I know what you're thinking, Jonathan, this is California, this is Southern California, and of course we're gonna have traffic because we're overpopulated. Well, yes, yes we are, but Ukaipa has a little bit more traffic than the usual just because of how the city is located and how they kind of jump off one of the major interstates, you will be having major congestion, especially during peak hours, during rush hour traffic, right? Or, um, you know, heavy on the main roads, you're gonna run into some heavy traffic. So that's just a little, you know, need to know. It is gonna be a little bit more than the above average when it comes to traffic living in Yucaipa, California. So that's why we're naming that as con number two. Now, con number three of living in Yucaipa, California, that's going to be its limited entertainment options. Like I kind of mentioned before in the very beginning, yes, you do have a lot of outdoor nature and you do have community events going on. But as far as entertainment itself, Yucaipa doesn't have a whole lot going on within the city. So that is definitely a need to know. So if you're a night owl or you're one of those persons that absolutely has to go do something outside of your house, right? Well, just know that, hey, you're not gonna have a whole lot of options within the city of Yucaipa, right? Or the surrounding areas. You're definitely gonna have to drive a little bit further away, maybe to Redlands, California, or to Riverside, right? To some bigger, larger areas to go in and enjoy that nightlife or that place where you can go out and go do some amazing entertainment things. So that that is why we're naming that as con number three. Now, con number four and your final con of living in Yucaipa, California is that it does have some extreme temperatures at times, okay? So Yucaipa, California can get very, very hot during the summer months, right? And, I, and it can also get very, very cold during the winter months because you're off that mountain and kind of the wind kind of just drafts into the city and you if you walk outside during the winter and you that wind hits you you're definitely gonna get cold it's gonna hit you and you're like whoa so just make sure you have your jacket on during the winter time and during the summer months just know it can get extremely hot too so that is more of the inland empire region area that's how it kind of gets um, so that's one thing to know that it can get a little bit 
uncomfortable when it comes to living in a new kite but during the hot summer months now it's not the whole summer right or that whole long stretch it's usually only about 20 days out of the year that can get extremely hot so that is something to consider now that's going to cover all the pros and the cons of living in Yucaipa, california now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little market recap of the current real estate market here in Yucaipa, california So market recap time. So that right there again just covers all the the big major pros and the cons that you know we see that everyday people really kind of care about and would like to know of whether or not Yukaipa is the right place for me. Now, like I mentioned, right, you definitely want to outweigh the pros to see if they outweigh the cons, right? Now, if you can get over the limited public transportation or maybe some of that summer heat, right, or that it's not a big place to entertain, um, entertainment life, I, I would say that's a better word to put it, right? But you know that you're going to get that the outdoor nature and you're going to be able to go hiking and enjoy some of the trails or go biking or you know that you're going to be in a safe area and have some great public schools right then it might be the place for you but that's definitely just something to consider overall yukaipa is a is a great city and it's actually rated a b plus in niche.com there's just a little thing for you to know you know whether or not yukaipa is good for you but thank you for watching living in south california see you on the next episode